Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Hi, I'm Crystal. In today's video, we are going to be doing a one brand makeup tutorial using LA Color. Now this video is going to be a voiceover in the beginning because my audio was messed up and I already filmed this video two times already and I wasn't trying to do that again. So if you're interested in this video, please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my videos. I upload on Wednesdays and Fridays and thumbs up this video if you enjoy so let's get right into this video so i'm starting off with my own primer because i didn't get to pick up one from them but the first product that i'm going to be using is their hydrating facial mist and this does have like rosy kind of scent it doesn't smell all that but it's okay it kind of smells like fake barbie dolls or something like that that you buy from like the dollar store <laughs> The next thing I'm going to be using is their Conceal It Orange Concealer just to color correct any darkness or in my case any pimples that I had left over um, on my skin that I shouldn't have touched but I did anyway and I'm blending that out using a damp sponge. I'm going to take their Truly Matte Warm Honey Foundation and I honestly love this foundation. When I put it on the first time I was like oh my god this is going to be so light but it actually oxidized just a little bit and I'm obsessed with it. It gave like the right amount of coverage. It's definitely a medium coverage. You can build it up to be a little bit more full coverage, but not like completely full coverage. I'm gonna go in with their Conceal It again, but this is in the shade beige. And I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes and the center of my face. And I don't add more on my nose or my forehead. I just take whatever is left on my sponge and I added on to the center of my nose and my forehead just because it was just a lot that I used. You don't have to use too much of this concealer. A lot does go a long way. Now I'm going in with their setting powder in Universal Translucent and I'm obsessed with this powder you guys. It's so flawless and makes everything look so airbrushed. I just love it to set underneath the eyes. I wouldn't recommend to do it all over the face just because it is a mattifying setting powder but definitely underneath the under eyes. And for bronzer, it literally says bronzer. This is in the shade Beach Babe. It is a little light for my liking but I do like the consistency of it. Like it's very smooth and like soft when you apply it but I wish they had a darker color. I believe this was the darkest that they had in the stores, but I don't think it's the darkest that they have in their range. But it was definitely pretty. It just wasn't for like summertime. It's definitely like a bronzer that I would use during the winter time. And then I'm just going to contour my nose just a little bit. And then for a blush, I use their Rad Rogue Rad Rogue blush and Butterlicious, I believe it's called, but this blush is trash you guys i don't like it it took off my bronzer and the center of my nose and that's why i put my bronzer onto my cheekbones to give like a undertone that will be a little different when i apply the blush if that makes any sense but i didn't like this blush at all i kind of threw it out i'm setting my foundation and everything with their setting mist or setting spray and using my sponge to kind of melt that right into my skin then for highlighter, you guys, this is my favorite thing in this whole, like, look. You see that? Yes, you see that. It's so blinding. I love this highlighter. It's so blinding. Oh, my God. Like, the first time I used it, I overdid it. And I took my sponge, and it didn't want to move. So you have to use this very carefully. <laughs> then I used their brow pencil. It's called their Brownie Wownie and I got it in dark and I do like it I wish it was a little darker I was using a light hand but I actually really like it it's creamy but a little too creamy in a way because the tip of it went down so fast but overall I really like how it looked on my eyebrows I will definitely use this for more of like a natural brow day but you see how it's nice I, I do like it it's not like the best but I do like it and I took that same concealer and I just carved under my eyes and I also use that as a primer for my lids 
Okay, I just realized that my audio was off this whole time. So now we're switching back to just me talking through. The first part was definitely a voiceover. I'm so sorry about that. I'm, ugh, but I'm not trying to record this video again. So just bear with me. I have three eyeshadow palettes right here. So I originally got these two eyeshadow palettes and honestly, they're trash. If you're like a teenager, like, are preteen and you're 12 years old, you know, pick it up. It's nice to practice with something that's not expensive. But like, I like this shade, where is it? This shade that's right here, that's the one I used all over my lid and I actually posted a video or I actually posted a picture of it, I'll insert it right here. And I really, really loved that lid shade. But I used that brown as well and it looks super like chocolatey brown. But when you put it on, it was like a cool tone brown and when I was trying to blend it out with something else it just it was not blending nicely so I had to do extra to make it work I'm not gonna use that but I'm going to be using this palette right here now I picked this one up today it was five dollars so I'm like okay it should be a little bit better so opening it up they actually what the hell they have like this it looks like a lid a lip brush? Lip brush doing in here. Or maybe it could be like, maybe this is like their blending brush, I don't know. And then it comes with these little two like, I don't know if this is gonna have any fallout, but we're gonna try, oh! And it has like a little mirror on the top. I can literally like just, you know, go like that. So for the first shade, I'm going to be going in with the very first shade right here. Do they have names to this? No. So we're just gonna, Pack that on, this might be a little too light, and I'm gonna pack that on my lid. It's literally like my own lid shade almost, which is not bad, we wanna have like a focus of where we are gonna place our shadows. On camera, it doesn't look like it's anything there, but trust, it had like a tiny bit of fallout. So I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm going to deepen that up with this shade right here. Not that much fallout in this one, and I'm not even gonna tap off my brush because, yeah. I'm curious of how these shades are gonna blend out different from those two shadows. I mean, those two palettes, because the other two palettes were so trash. Like, I'm sorry, LA Color, they were trash. But this shade right here is super pretty. It kind of gives me like a nice, wow. It's actually softer on camera than what it is in person, but I feel like we could blend that up and it will look so pretty on camera. But in person, I'm getting like a soft sienna kind of color. And we're just gonna blend that and pack that on. And I am using a pretty fluffy brush, so it is diffusing it a little bit more. So if I use like a denser brush, it'll probably be a little bit more pigmented. But I like that we put that first shade down because it's kind of giving a softer, like blown out effect. And I'm packing my brush on, like I'm going like, I'm pretty, I'm going pretty hard and there's not that much fall fallout. Like there's a very little, but nothing, Crazy. And there's no fallout on my face. Now, I just noticed that those two shades that I just used are the only matte shades in this palette. So, that's a bummer because I wanted to deepen this look up. I'm gonna use a little denser brush. This is the Morphe M44, M433. And I'm gonna pack on that same brown shade and see if I could deepen this look up since it's a little bit more dense. Yep. So using a more denser brush and actually that have more fallout. That's that's very weird. So that actually deepen it up a little bit more. Using different brushes can make a shadow look different depending on how you use it. So with that fluffier brush, it made it look so much softer than what it is. And now that I'm using a little denser brush and I'm holding my brush a little bit closer and packing that on, it's making the shadow look more deeper, which I'm not mad about, I like that. But I'm just upset that there's like only two matte shades. I'm going to take this shade right here, this maroon shade, and I'm just gonna apply that to the outer portion.
And I want to do that so I can darken it up but without putting this like all in my crease. I hate putting like shimmery shades in my crease. Like it doesn't work well. Well it doesn't, I mean it works but it just doesn't really look that flattering. And I haven't put any like base down and this one does have a little fallout. So I'm just packing that onto my brush and then packing that in the corners. I think I'm gonna add that in the inner corners as well. This is actually a pretty, pretty, pretty shade. It's packing on pretty, like on camera, it's like flush. It looks so washed out, but it's actually pretty nice. It's deep. On camera, it's almost pulling like a pinkish red, but it's definitely like a maroon type of color. I'm gonna dip my brush and then spray it and see how that looks. So spraying my brush made it a little bit more pigmented, but nothing like crazy. Looking at this palette, so this shade right here, this shade right here, and this shade right here, they look exactly the same. I'm just gonna use the one that's right next to it. I'm gonna put that on the center of my lid. I feel like if I used my NYX eyeshadow, glitter primer base this would have been so much better like but i wanted to just see how it looked like by itself it's not bad it's definitely not bad it's just you really have to build up these shades in the pan this one looks more pink when you put it on it's almost like a soft champagne i'm gonna spray my brush and apply it onto the lid I just took the last shade and put it on top to see if it will look more corally. But honestly, it looks it looks exactly the same. Taking that dark maroon shade and then blending out that harsh line. And then going back into that brown, I'm just gonna blend everything out. This palette is way better than the other two that I used. At least, at least this one gives you pigment where that other one it just was not right. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my primer base. We're gonna see how this performs with primer base. I'm still gonna go in with this shade right here. So, <laughs> a big difference. These shadows, the shimmer shadows, definitely need like a primer base because now that I have my NYX glitter adhesive like down, see how pigmented that is and how it's like clinging on? Oh yeah, mm-hmm, we should have did that. And I didn't even wet the brush. Take that brown shade and just blend that out. I'm gonna also use that in the inner corner, the glitter adhesive. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go in with, actually I wanna go in with this shade right here. Ooh, yes. I like that. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do some liner and the mascara and lashes. The liner is not by them, so I'm gonna be using something else, but I wanted to show you guys the products for the mascara and lashes. I'm gonna be using their Drama Lash Mascara, and I like this because the bristles are pretty, like, tiny, but honestly, it doesn't give me, like, any length or thickness like that. But it's super dark and I like how it blends in with the mask, the lashes itself. I have used their lashes before, they're literally a dollar. And this one is in the name Diva976. They look like this right here. Okay, I'm back. I have my lashes on. I put brown liner on and it looks black but not so intense and that's exactly how I want it to be. I put liquid liner just very close to the lash line and then brown mascara, I mean brown liner on the bottom. For lip liner, I'm gonna go in with their chocolate lip pencil. I have three lip products right here, but I use this one already. This is their matte liquid lip in the shade uh, Vixen. This right here, it's like a nudie peach, but 
you know, I don't really want to go for that one. This one is their Velvet Push, Push Creamy Lipstick. And let's see, I'll do that right here. Oh, it's super dark. Pretty. This is their High Shine Lip Gloss in Doll Face. This one right, is right here. And I have a clear gloss from them, which I'm actually obsessed with because it's super glossy. You see how shiny and glossy that is? These two are the same. So I kind of want to go for like a glossy lip, but I don't want to use this one per se. So let's go in with this one. This is the Doll Face Lip Gloss. See how this looks. Mm. Oh, I like this. Oh my god, I love this lip. And this is pretty. I'm, I'm obsessed. And when I wore this one the other day, it stayed glossy for such a long time. I was eating, I was drinking, and I was like, oh shit, my lipstick. And I looked, and it was still freaking glossy. I was like, whoa, like... Bomb. And this is the completed look you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, I'm so sorry that the audio was messed up in the beginning of the video. But, you know, we made it through. And now you know what I like and what I dislike about LA Color. Now, I feel like there were more pros than cons. Because basically all the face product I'm like obsessed with. The eyeshadow is okay. If you're a beginner and you're just learning how to do your makeup, I feel like this will be perfect for you because you get to learn you know what to do even when it comes to the eyes it's not bad like even though like the lid shades are not as pigmented like the shimmery shades you just have to work with them and I will definitely recommend using like a glitter primer like NYX for your eyes and then you know just packing it on I learned my lesson you saw that I put it on the lower lash line but I would have used it on the top it would have been like it would have been perfect. The matte shade blended out so nice and it stayed true to color. Unlike the other one that I told you guys about, I'll insert a clip of the actual photo. It was not the chocolate brown that it looked like. It looked more gray. But overall, I like this new palette that I use. And yeah, so everything else was perfect. So that's all. I have nothing else to say and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.